Home marketing for realtors. You've got a listing and you're wondering what we need to do to get this thing sold, right? Well, we do have some updates. This is 2023 or the beginning of 2023 as this video goes forward. And I want to give you some updates and some of the traditional stuff that we need to know to get that listing sold. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty coming at you with some great information to kind of help you with your business. Whether you're a seasoned, seasoned agent, somebody trying to be a better leader, brand new agent just trying to get and improve their business, you are in the right place. So if uh, you want to be part of this and learn vicariously through me, I've been through it all. I've been the single agent. I've been that... Uh, Buyer's agent on a team and ops manager and now team lead and done so in several different states. So let me be that voice. They say that you are the sum of the five voices that you surround yourself with. Let me be one of those voices to help you improve yourself and your career. Okay, so let's talk about home marketing, all right, for realtors, right? And some of the updates that we do have for 2023. Now, if you don't have a whole heck of a lot of experience or no experience uh, selling a home, well, let's talk about the basics. What are those basics? So when you get out there, of course, you want to make sure that you have good pictures. If you're using your cell phone, unless you're taking this at a very steep discount and just doing volume, I do not suggest that. If you are and you just can't afford it, get some filters on the outside of your camera that you can buy for pretty cheap and you can make it look as best that you can. Most of these phones that we do have have some adjustments for lighting and things like that. But my personal opinion, charge enough for your services because you're worth it. Uh, charge enough of your services so that you can get a professional photographer out there. So pictures are good. Obviously, you want to make sure that house looks as nice and as clean as possible, even if it's just for a day when that uh, photographer goes out there. Obviously, you're going to throw it in the multiple listing service. That multiple listing service then has access and syndicates, most of them do, syndicate out to hundreds, maybe thousands of websites um, to make sure that people can see it. And of course, having a sign outside makes a big difference too. Um, some sort of professional looking sign. In my personal opinion, I don't think it really matters unless you're into luxury, whether it's a door hanging or a, a yard arm sign or just a push in. Whatever it is, people need to know that a professional is selling it. Now, some extra things on top of that people are doing is they're posting on social media. Most people, I think 90, I forget, I don't know the exact statistics, but last I checked, it was over 90% of people are finding their homes online before they're even contacting a real estate agent, right? Um, making sure that these are syndicated to sites that may not necessarily be linked to your MLS. Make sure to take a look at that. And of course, the extra stuff you could do is all your old school type marketing, right? That's that door to door, right? <laughs> Go into your office if you have one or your home office, print out a bunch of flyers and go door knock the neighbors because who knows anybody that's better to move into their neighborhood than their neighbors themselves, right? You can also do the same concept through circle prospecting and calling all the neighbors and finding some system that provides you numbers for that specific neighborhood. Right, now that old school marketing, do you think that really sells the house necessarily or helps you get more leads? I would venture to say to the latter. Yes, it probably gets you more leads in order for you to do more business. So it's really actually advantageous for you. The offset for that is that you're probably gonna sell the house. Now, open houses are another big thing that you can do. That's where at the beginning of my career, that was 70% of my business, yeah. Um, so all those different things still effective. They still work. They're old school, but they're still working. So keep that, keep that on your radar as something that you can do to sell your listings. So what's new, right? We're four minutes or so into this video. Tim, tell me what the heck's new in 2023. So this isn't necessarily new, but how we do it. What I'm going to talk about is adding value. When we talk about adding value, I'm talking about giving them access to things that they can't just find online, right? As a consumer, if I can spend a couple of minutes researching versus picking up the phone to call, as a consumer, I'm probably going to do that, right? If I cannot find it, my last ditch effort is to pick up the phone and call if it's not easily or readily accessible. So how do we convey that information? 
The biggest part here, number one, is going to be long and short-term video. Video. Why is video important? Because you can show empathy. You can tell stories. You can, you can show yourself because we have the best amount of communications that we have right here. Why? It's because you can hear me. That's the audio part, right? And what I'm saying, there's maybe captions below me. So that's a written word. Also, my tonality and how I'm saying things also makes a big difference. That's like 23% of communication. The written word's only seven. So what's that leave? 70% of communication? What is it? It's nonverbal, which you can capture on video. And that's the best way to do it. And plus, we're humans. We get distracted real easy. So if there's a bunch of movement within uh, in our line of sight, it's going to attract us, which is why the TikToks, why Reels and all these things have become so popular over the last year or so, actually more than that, is because that's what we're addicted to, okay? It's that long and short form video. Also, pretty photos are also gonna do this. And even if it's photos that they couldn't already see online, that's huge. So if you have somebody and you can you can get some photos, maybe you're at an open house and you want to build what they call a carousel. A carousel is available on Instagram and Facebook, and it tells a story of what that house is all about through pictures. Okay, and not just the pictures, but it could be the neighborhood. Okay, my suggestion is when you do it through video, or you do it through photos, you want to tell stories. People love stories. They want to learn everything that uh, they can absorb through a story. Why? Because it's entertaining. It's just what we do, right? So what can you tell a story about? Okay. And it's so funny because that's on Facebook and Instagram for those uh, carousels. It's in your stories. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, what, what, what can you do these on? So other than the house, everybody's doing that, right? What else can you do? So the area surrounding the house. Maybe it's in a nice neighborhood. Maybe it's got a pickleball court. Maybe it's got a pool. Maybe it's right next to a school. All these different things in the neighborhood. And if it's not immediately available, you know, start going out and start getting things that are close relatively to your area, close to what you're looking for, right? Other things that could be in a specific area, you could be events. And if events are going on, that says that, hey, this um, this property is within X... Um, miles away from a specific event that happens each year. And it sounds super fun, right? So now they're correlating that event with this house. The neighborhood, huge part there too. So maybe there's a neighborhood, maybe it's in an HOA, gated community. Um, you could even do neighborhood um, testimonials with, with the neighbors to ask how great that neighborhood is. They're always going to talk it up, right? And people love stories about the neighborhood. Here we go, right? Um, now, if this is an older home, if you're in an area that's, that's a little bit more uh, historic, tell a story about the house or the people that live there, you know, as, as nicely as you can without getting too personal. But you can go through a story and here in Florida, I mean like, yeah, this thing's been around for six hurricanes and it never got knocked down, right? <laughs> All these different things could be something that you could talk about. Now, when you do your long form and short form video outside of what I said, yes, the big thing that you want to do is video walkthroughs. Go through and do a walkthrough of the home. You could narrate it in the background if you'd like to. It's not necessary. You could put music behind it. However you want to do it, there's tons of video editing options on whatever device that you have. Um, there should be a long form and then you take that same long form and then cut it up and make it short. Okay. And that's somewhere between a minute to 90 seconds is how long that should be in there. And it's just cut clips throughout each one. Make sure that it's appealing. Make sure that it's a nice day out, as nice as it is during that time of year. I know I did used to sell real estate in um, Dayton, Ohio. And there'd be, gosh, five months where it seemed like we we're socked in and we never had the sun come out. So if it's a nice less cloudy day. All right, we'll go out and do that, right? So you can do all these different things. Be creative. But again, give that value that they can't readily find somewhere else. Do that and you're going to go ahead and sell this property. Big note, if you've waited along this time, again, a home still has to be priced right in the market and it has to be dressed right for it to sell properly. 
All you're going to do is market an overpriced listing and it's just not going to sell. So don't make that mistake. This is not 2021, 2022 anymore. So get, get to work. <laughs> all right, that's all I have for the home marketing for realtors and updates for 2023. If you got any questions about anything I mentioned here, please leave them in the comments below. If you have something additional, we would love to hear from you. Please, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, of course, try to keep them positive. But uh, if you do take the time to, or to type in here, I will personally respond to you. And if you are considering joining a team, uh, joining a brokerage or anything like that, and you're here in the Panhandle area, or the brokerage could be anywhere, uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, with a text, call, you know, find me on social media, whatever you got to do. I'll take the time to make sure that we have a bit of conversation, give you as unbiased as I can on, on your ways to proceed forward. But again, my name is Tim Whittemore. I'm with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.